yummy like a gummy bear. It's the internet, you're busy, let's do this for April 1st, 2024, for the next hour or so. Let me help you sort through the world of gaming on Game Mess Mornings Live with me, Jeff Grubb. Today, today, Dan? Today I have Dan Reichert. Dan, are you okay? Dan, what's wrong? You look, um, like you look startled about something. Uh, is there something you want to tell me? Wait, what is that noise? Dan, no, what is that noise? No! No! Anything but that, Dan Reichert! What, what have you done to me? Alright, we'll be that way. What is that behind you? Is that Super Mario Maker? No, anything but that! Uh, are, is that what you want me to play for, for April Fool's Day? Instead of doing news? Which would be really dumb? Oh, alright. Uh, hello everybody. Uh, I'm not gonna do the news today. Instead, it's time for some Mario Maker Mornings Mess with me, Jeff Grubb. Turbo Sean's actually here. Hi, Sean. How's it going? I was not expecting Scan Dan to be one of the first things I saw this morning. Oh <laughs> right. My God. Yeah, but honestly, more upsetting <laughs> than I even realized it would be. Uh, oh, Scan Dan. Uh, wild, wild man. Uh, all right, let me let me get this set up, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll, we'll just hang out. I don't know if there's news you want to talk about. You guys want to share some of those dumb headlines? What news? We're not right. going to be able to discern what's what today. Exactly. <laughs> it does kind of like because I'm like not in. I'm not in the mood that mindset anymore, and haven't been for years. So I read headlines. I'm like, what the hell is this thing talking about? It's like, oh yeah, the date. Yeah, I saw one of those already this morning. So, oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, there is that. Um, you guys, you should be able to see the game now, and then I just need to switch it over here so I can get... I need to uh, download that thing you told me about, the lag-free capture. Oh, yeah, I'll send that over your way sometime today. Yes, I'm gonna get that, make that happen. Um, okay, click back into place. There we go, all right. Let's give this a shot for real. I got pretty close to beating this last time on Mario Maker Morning's Mess. I need to maybe sit back a little bit. I saw a time Great. where you uh, just fell onto some spikes out of the uh, the pipe. Yes, that, and and that was pretty technically pretty close. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I've never seen the full course before. I'm very curious because it seems like every time you make just enough progress to, uh, you know, call it that. Uh, and... Just yep. yanks the rug out from under your feet. That is, uh, that ha has been what has happened every time with this, with this <laughs> level and, and really all these levels. It's very appropriate. Yes. All right, let's see here. Oh my god. All right, it's gonna take me a second to get the Goomba legs back underneath me here. The, this part is like so just weird. It, you kind of have to play it a couple times to get used to it. Why do you think they made Galoombas? I don't know, right? Yeah. Like, why yeah. not just Goombas? I don't know. Like, hey, Dinosaur we, Island or whatever needs you got. Things. You have to get a. You got to get a Super Nintendo. Just check out these Galoombas. It was a feature. Yeah. <laughs> check out the Galoombas on 16. <laughs> Her Galoombas go all the way to the ground. Oh man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate when they... You think they're going to keep on jumping in the same direction and they bounce backwards and it throws you off. I didn't see that clip from the original stream that was being passed around of um, Gersman saying, like, well, why don't we just add a pit full of Goombas? Yeah. And then the, the, the dance face just uh -huh. lights up. Yeah, they'd be bouncing around and everything. <laughs> Mushroom for survivability. Arwal 
Souls, I did see this game you linked me earlier, and I, uh, it, it's been on my watch list. <clears throat> Furry game? Maybe. <laughs> Hell yeah. It, it was shown in, like, uh, Nintendo Direct or something sure. at one point. It's, um, you're not gonna remember this just by me saying it, but it's like a coastal adventure game. I don't oh. really know exactly what it is, but yeah, I saw it a while back. Oh, I definitely hit the jump button there. Come on. Also, apparently, um, apparently they're, uh, trying, some modders are trying to port GTA 5 to switch from leaked source code. Really? <laughs> yeah. Not this April Fool's Day? Day? Uh, this was, uh, several days ago, okay. so I assume not. Wait, he's still inside one of you bastards? Daniel Day Lewis. Here's here's the real news, boyos. Oh no. Uh oh god, I just saw the giant bomb Discord banner. <laughs> <laughs> it's real good. Scared for a second. <laughs> Very good job, friends. Uh, the, the second piece of news, the Warrior 64 tweeting that RGG is already looking to cast for uh like a dragon three. And yo, RGG, look at your boy. <laughs> Get at him! I'm right Cut here! Cut the check! Cut the check! Oh my god! You yeah, haven't seen that thread that uh, Lex put up earlier? Oh, I did. Yeah. The one that's just, uh... What is this? Jackass kills me. What? We're, we're working here, Jeff. We swear. What is this banner? What am I looking at? <laughs> <laughs> did, did someone post the banner into chat so chat could see? Uh, Actually, I'll... Yeah, we post can it, do that. Post we can it do that. I can get that. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll put it in the thing. What? What do you mean? Why? Well, it's, it's another day of working at CNET. What are you talking about, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> it's like an MIRC You're my, C you're my favorite logo. CNET co-worker. <laughs> Back alone. Totally normal. <laughs> We've been working for CNET for five years now. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> They're gonna sue us now. <laughs> Uh, next yeah, I think, year, I think we can beat their AI, AI lawyers in court. Next year, let's Truman show uh, someone on the staff. Like, let's do it to Dan or Mike. Yeah, that sounds good. But don't tell them. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah. Everyone be cool. Well, Mike's not awake yet, right? No. Oh, no. God, no. Unless he's gonna be on the show, hell no. Secretly, what is we're gonna do it to Jeff? It, it would be oh, hard no. to it would be hard to uh, Truman show Mike because he would just assume that whatever's happening is a show about him in most cases. So. <laughs> yeah, he just wouldn't care. Yeah. Like, Ooh, everything's about me. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Where's this picture on the left from? I don't know. It says Party Palace Fan Discord. What does that mean? <laughs> I like it. I was trying to find the uh, the infamous studio picture of Jeff no! the other day. Just like the first thing if you. So you did this, life. Sean. Oh, God, no. I wish. I wish I could take credit for this. All right. This, uh, this smells like a, perhaps a. a... A, a, ch a chuck chuck joint or maybe a, a toshi joint oh word all right then i'm not mad they'll, they'll again up to shenanigans that's how we got the fucking turbo emote <laughs> mirc where we post cnet oven and fridge reviews <laughs> <laughs> i miss irc i still IRC? i still pop in to irc channels every do you really so. irc uh, RC chat, in, yeah. What is it? Inter relay chat? Is that what it stands for? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds for right. one specific reason, it's because, like, the ancient uh, tech of anime piracy lives there for, like, stuff that isn't, has never been put on the internet Hell or yeah. is not available for DVDs and Blu rays. That's the only place to get it. IRC. <laughs> Boomer Discord. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, uh, and pornography, apparently. Oh, definitely. Yeah, one like, one 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 one. I remember I, 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 in, in like late in like the mid to late nineties, I worked at a, uh, a startup, and they would like contract all of the programming work that they couldn't figure out in this one IRC channel. Well, I mean, that's I mean that is legit how Klepik and a lot of those guys got work and got to know each other was uh, vid games and IRC. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that what was, server was, do you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't remember what the name of the server, but yeah, the name of the channel on the server was Vid Games. Oh my God. That's funny. Oh, for video games. Yeah. Yep, there you go, Jan. <laughs> okay, I got that. <laughs> 
Oh, this is an abomination. Ham, oh. uh, I think Dan and I leave for Mania Wednesday. What time on Wednesday? Nine? Okay, so not in time okay. to do a Blight Club. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there's not going to be a Blight Club. No, it, that, that does not sound like there should be a Blight Club. I mean, I can make him play it in Philadelphia. God, that would rule. We should just all walk in for the Monday meeting after this and tell, oh, dang, you gotta do Blood Club today. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he... He, like, spilled beer or something on his keyboard, right? What? Hell yeah. Like, during a stream, and this dude's, like, writing me all weekend. He's like, how do I fix my keyboard? I'm like, buy a new one. Buy a new one. Buy a new, like... Beer and keyboard. What do I do? What do, I do? It's done. Like, I know what to do. <laughs> Go back in time and don't spill beer well, on it. If he was gonna ask anyone, I mean, that's that's a logical jump, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I broke this glass. Uh, how did, I don't know. Oh, how to get shit. Yeah, no, I spilled a beer on a Dual Shock once and just hey, some isopropyl alcohol. It was fun. Yeah. There's a lot. Look, like, you know. You could open it up and clear, but like it's not even worth it. Just buy a new one. Yeah, it's not worth yeah. it. Uh, the news is that beer or Dan spilled beer on his keyboard. That's that's today's news. Oh my god, someone's making bacon in this house. <laughs> I made a, I made a beef fast Sammy. It's good. It's good today, boys. Uh, uh, uh yeah, I have eggs and sausage. You, you never put YouTube live, by the way. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we should go to YouTube. <laughs> I was about to switch it, but then it'd be funnier if they see the whole goof. Okay. I'll, I'll put it up there later. Cool. Uh, but I'll put it on game spots. Hell yeah. <laughs> that seems right. Oh no, my I god. Toast, not bacon. I just how thought, do I mix those okay. up? Okay. Never been hit by that before. Sure, if I should I should see that I think you should leave tour, right? They're going, it's on tour? Uh it's just Tim what's his face? Robinson? Uh, Tim, Tim Robinson. Tim yeah, he's he's going on tour, but he's calling it that I think he should leave. <laughs> oh fuck me. Fuck. What? Yeah. yeah. When's it is it coming to New York? It, I, it has to, right? It has to. I think legally you're not allowed to tour without going to New York. Like, I didn't hear about it until Lucy casually dropped it the other day. Oh, I need to play you the audio. Oh, oh, uh, Jeff, it's tomorrow in New York. Oh, no, it's at the Beacon tomorrow. <laughs> Grub. Grub, it's April 5th in Detroit. Ooh. Okay. I don't know how far of a drive that is for you. No, it's not bad at all. Plus, the Detroit show is going to be the best one because he's from Detroit. Yeah, he's from. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the home crowd. Oh, yeah. no. And the cheapest tickets are $268. Well, just, you know, use your per diem. Buy tickets instead of eating. Or it might be your per per diem. Diem. home per diem. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. It's, my, it's a Dan Flash's reference, everyone. I'm sorry. Um, well, this doesn't seem doable. Uh, oh, I always check for tickets on Vivid Seats, because that's like... I'll, I'll find people reselling tickets cheaper. It's it's always like the race to the most unknown platform. Yeah. No one no one go to Vivid Seats. I don't have like a, a partner card. I can't no one believe else it's tomorrow. Goddamn Galoombas. <laughs> no, so we have a I have a video of Dib doing the entire monologue from Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh the, man. He, he does it in the mirror, like after a shower and thinks no one's watching. <laughs> oh. oh, that's amazing.
Yeah, if I ever audition for anything major, like a movie or a TV show, I want to use that as a monologue, actually. I think that's a good show. He does it so well. Oh. I, um... I've been, like, trying to, like, work on my, uh, my speech, and so, like, there's, um, one recommendation is, like, pick something that you, uh, know really well and try to practice saying it in the mirror, so I'm gonna pull a dib, uh, and I want to do the, the speech from Shogun where the guy's yelling about lecherous man and all this stuff, but maybe <laughs> something from I Think You Should Leave would be better. Do, do you guys have one that you would go to, like, a go-to, like, favorite rant from a movie or something? Oh, go-to rant from a movie? Oh, I like John Favreau's from Chef. I've never seen Chef. The, oh, Grub, you'd love it. I bet I would like it a lot. Uh, that is the ultimate American dream because uh, he, in the movie, he's married to Sofia Vergara. Yeah. And then that's has relations good. with Scarlett Johansson. Well, that's the American dream right there. I would do uh, the president's speech from Independence Day. Oh, that's, that's really a good. good one. That's we a will good not one. go quietly. No, it's night. too good. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I want you guys to hurt me now, please. Thank you. All right. Ah, it's that guy game now. I am being summoned. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Bye, Bye <C> <laughs> If we were just CNET, right? Mm -hmm. We could call the audience. What's up, my CNUTS? <laughs> I'm sure they did that all the time. Oh, yeah. No, we did not. <laughs> yeah, it was CNUTISENS. It was, you know, early CNUTS. 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 Put a smile and at least three people's faces. I'm going to consider that a success. <laughs> We just sell that shirt. It just like see. It was just. Like, oh yeah. Nut. <laughs> well yeah. It's just our thing. It's not referencing and then, anything. And then like it, it just has like an arrow pointing to the left or right. <laughs> oh, I hope Dan and I can, can run into Big Man Finale. Oh, I mean, you you, ha you better. Uh, cause oh, yeah. he's got some good food out there. Yeah, he's, he's you know tailgating all day. Oh, God, that sounds amazing. It's, I mean, he's promising some really good food, and I'm not going to be able to make it, I'm realizing, because the, uh, the eclipse is, like, the Monday after that, and it's going to be nuts here, so I don't want to leave town. Um, but I was planning to go just for that food. Uh, so, yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely check it out. <laughs> if you look at the sun during the eclipse, do you get powers? Yes. Is that how this one works? So, yeah. okay. okay. That's you, great to know. you are allowed to look at the sun during an eclipse if it's the moment of totality. If it's in totality. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, right. like, the window, you can't just, I don't think you're allowed to just say that on the internet, Grub, because the next <laughs> people not, who are, Honestly, I'm <laughs> worried. I think people are going to yell at me. I was ser I'm seriously worried. <laughs> because the number of people who are absolutely not going to be anywhere near totality are going to be like, Grub told me I can look at the sun. <laughs> oh shit, that's why they never say it. Don't look at the sun, you dipshits. <laughs> ah! Nikki, could you send me some of those receipts from, from PAX? Oh fuck, yeah, absolutely I can. I, oh, no, I just thought of that because I, I got an email saying, hey dumbass, they're due today. Yeah, like, oh, oh yeah, I know. Due today. I can, shit. Watch this. Watch this, Jan. I'll do oh, that I right do my now. Taxes. Okay, now I can just it just Google Jan. Now that didn't work. That didn't, help, that didn't help me on my task. But yeah, I'll do it right now. Thank you, Nikki. No rush. Uh, yeah, speaking of receipts, when are taxes due? April 15th. Oh, April yeah, 15th. I got time. Okay, Grub. here's here's my legitimate and actual thing. It doesn't actually, <laughs> for me, it doesn't take that fucking long to do taxes. What's the deal? Like, I did my shit in March. Like, at the beginning of March. Like, what are y'all doing? What are you waiting well, for? Oh, I, I got, I have an LLC. I got, some, uh, I paid Sean uh, out of my pocket for some some shit. Not legally. He, he's got uh, a 1099, because I'm not yeah. going to pay his taxes. That, that reminds me, Grub. Like, the stupidest thing you can do when you win money is tell people how much you won. Yeah, I know. Especially uh, when you have employees who could ask for a raise. <laughs> you gotta keep in mind, I'm very <laughs> stupid, though, so... Oh, well... I've done that for years now, but... <laughs> um, yeah, well, listen, that money went straight to the creditors, so don't worry. 
Hey, I saw someone doing this on TikTok, and I know that uh, you get all the best business practices right on, on TikTok. TikTok. Uh -huh. Yeah, financial. Uh -huh. Who needs a financial plan? Exactly. TikTok is the financial plan. Yeah, a hundred percent. This person said that they just keep getting hired at startups and getting fired. No, that's that's the fucking move. That, that legitimately really is the move. That because sounds sick as hell. You get signing bonuses when you start at some startups, like you're playing in the fucking NFL, which right. is crazy. And they'll just give you 30 grand for nothing. Like, they're like, welcome to the company who's 30,000 American dollars. <laughs> Why is it not like a, uh, a paycheck bonus? Is it like a yeah, You still got to pay taxes on it, but like, well, that's money though, you know? Right, but I mean, like, you, isn't there a commitment there? They don't just give you the thirty Some, some headhunters will have yeah, that bonus incentive. You oh shit! Yeah. What am I doing here? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you Sean, can still be here, Sean, here? and get fired from another job. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, that's That'll true. help you get fired. Yeah, I think. Yeah, actually, I, I, I've done that already while my, while I've been here. So like, <laughs> it's not that yeah, hard. Let's fucking go. <laughs> It's not that hard. You can just do that. Uh, Rob, what's uh, Game S L L C's uh, severance plan looking like? Oh, um, <laughs> bankruptcy. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm looking at my my Uber receipts now, and there's a huge streak of seven canceled rides from that night where I couldn't get a card. All right. Yeah. The life of me. <laughs> And it's just, it's Omni Hotel Food oh. Seaport six consecutive times, zero dollars and zero cents canceled. Does that affect your Uber rating? Oh, most definitely, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, let me look at my Uber rating. Was that a rubber duck or a cork? I don't know. <laughs> my rating is 493. Uh, good, right? That's really I think good. so. Yeah. Dan Rikers is like 4.6 or something. Yeah. He keeps blaming his dad, but we know we know what's up. That tracks. Yeah. I had to stop like getting in the car with certain people. Sure. Like, in college. Like in college I really had to like People had to start calling Ubers. I was taking phones out of people's hands to call Ubers on the way home from the bar. <laughs> you ever have a friend puke in an Uber? No, I've had someone piss in an Uber, though. Oh. oh. Yeah. Just, like, on the floor, right? Just... Well, no, like, on themselves. Like, they... Oh, like... sure. But they did pee in the car. And I was like, oh, that's unfortunate for, I mean, for me in this moment, but like, I don't have to worry about cleaning that up. That's like uh, a personal problem you have. Follow up question. They were drunk, right? <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> this was uh, Easter Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was yesterday. <laughs> and that Uber rider, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He, he, he riz too much. Oh, he rose he's too much. pissing. He is pissing. I didn't realize that it was a black thing that instead oh, of saying that um, he rose or he, he, like, in church when I was growing up, the phrase was he got up. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> like a DBC yeah. character? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah, that so, rules. It's so, like, I didn't realize it literally until better. yesterday. And I was like, oh, yeah, we did just say he got up. <laughs> which is so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, Jesus got ups. He got up. What? Oh, okay, so, yeah, because after the cross, they put him, they put him to sleepy time, right? Yeah. They yeah. Took him, here's the thing that I don't get. Is there, I, I, I should remember this. Who took him off of the cross? Uh, One of the homies? The Romans? I don't know. Yeah, they got a dude for that, right? Yeah, right? There's like, I mean, you don't leave him up there forever, oh. like, right? So, I should really know this, though. I guess like, the homies know, probably did right? put him in the vault, right? Because they don't, you probably don't get a vault if you're just some schmuck. 
Well, but wasn't it a tomb? Like, well, yeah, is it yeah, like a, put, you know, a tomb? tomb? And then they rolled like no, a I think it was just sign in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's well, probably I mean, homies. that's what they want you to think, but, well, let's be real. They, they thought he was some schmuck, so they mm. probably did just chuck that's him in true. some tomb. <laughs> And they wanted to, they, they rolled like a comically large rock in, in front of the tomb, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. You say then, now I'm just picturing this all as the Flintstones art style. <laughs> That's what it used to look like back then. It's right. Like just all the time, yeah. Uh, for when I was like four, I definitely thought old times used to be black and white because of TV. Oh, absolutely. I was literally oh, yeah, just yeah. about to say that. Grandma, yeah, and right. I stopped myself because I was like, I don't want people to think I was stupid. I was <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I, the problem is, I, yeah, I, I also I, thought it was black and white. Yeah, I had two older brothers because I'm, I'm uh, like, we're like far apart. They're like 12 and 10 years older than me. So they're like, yeah, this kid's dumb. Let's like, really mess with them. So they would tell me stuff like that, and I'd believe them. That's fucked up. 55 years later, none's changed. No, not much has changed. 55? Hey, wait. Uh, I mean, dude's like 62. Hold right? on. Hey. <laughs> According to Google, no, he yes. Looks too good. Google it. He looks, he looks too good for a white 62. That, like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it matters. You need to have that qualifier. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, like, for a sure. white 62 is so different. Yeah, that's like raisin territory already. <laughs> yeah, girl, when's the last time you put on sunscreen? Last summer? Oh, buddy. Guys, yes. I'm sorry. Do you moisturize, Grub? Uh, yeah, I mean, after a shower, yes, always. Okay, okay that's good. Okay. Nikki, I remember I went to Super Nintendo World, Universal we'll Studios, like with Dan Reichert and Jeff Grubb. And yeah. then at the end, halfway through the day, I'm like, oh, I gotta reapply my sunscreen. Y'all got, y'all have any? Neither of them did. <laughs> yeah, of course they didn't. <laughs> and then Dan's poor head was, ball, was, was, you know, his bald head was burned. Yeah, weird. Weird how that goes. <laughs> that's so tough. See, that's the great thing about being part of Mexican. I just tan really nicely. I get to laugh at You still I have to put the sunscreen, sunscreen on, Sean. Yeah, I'm good. All right. <laughs> that's the white part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That, that'd be a perfect uh, sitcom catchphrase, Grub. That's the white part. <laughs> <laughs> Just a white guy with a bunch of biracial friends always pointing out when yeah. they're being white. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cool. Specific character we got there. <laughs> yeah, the sun makes everything hot. Okay, you know? also like, keep why in do you mind, think your skin's better than that. Keep in mind, we're coming out from like a Midwest perspective. We're not yeah. like in SoCal where the sun You're will kill you sun. in five seconds. I have seconds. like 300 days of cloud cover out here. Yes. <laughs> I know, I know it's still poking through and everything, but <laughs> I mean, listen, the sun's still around. I'm, the sun, yeah, the sun also still goes through the clouds. Eh. <laughs> That's the way. Guys, I want you looking young and fresh forever. <laughs> yeah, the thing about white aging is that it is almost ex always preventable. <laughs> it's just that, like, oh my god, no, but like, real no talk? one does it. <laughs> I had my fifth grade teacher. I thought she was ancient it, because just very sun kissed skin. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Very kind lady. I thought she was like, oh man, this lady looks older than my grandma. She must be like in her 70s. She was 30. Oh, she, oh, oh, yeah. she gotta be a smoker. Thing. I mean, come on. But like, that's uh, how they get you. And by they, I mean the environment gets <laughs> that you white people. Uh huh. Like, it, you just gotta do this stuff. Y'all made sunscreen. That's y'all. <laughs> like, I don't get it. It's slimy. <laughs> uh, if, I, if, I spray it, if I spray it on you, will will that help? Yeah, I don't like it on my 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 paw paws. Okay, I'm not a complete idiot. When I was in Evo, when I was in Vegas for Evo over the summer, I was absolutely just you know I bought I bought the spray bottle. You know, yeah, just every day before That's I went huge. out. Yeah. That's huge. Oh. Did you reapply or did you just hit it the one time? You were inside <laughs> at Evo, so 
I mean, I guess after after a shower, I reapplied. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't so outside. No. So the answer to that question is no. Thank <laughs> you so I... much, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I walked across the street, uh, you know, in that death pit to get to the uh -huh. pinball uh, museum. It, yeah, oh, that, that was like enough for that. Oh, that that museum fucking whips though, huh? Oh, it's so good. The museum's you, cool. Um, did you have y'all been to the Neon Museum yes. in Vegas? No. Oh, very I nice. Love that place too. That place rules. Do you think it's healthier to be like inside a casino breathing that AC and cigarette Ooh, air, or yeah, outside? Yeah, I think you got to mix it up, right? Exhaust. I think it's like an 80-20 mix. If you get 80% yeah. inside, 20% <laughs> outside, it's like nitrogen nah. and oxygen. I just took the gamer funk for like uh, 10 hours a day. Oh, yeah. Well, so where uh, Evo is, it's, it's, it's more spacious. So I think that might be healthier. Uh, uh. And you can't hey, smoke you can, in right Evo, here. right? Yeah, true, true. There weren't a, there wasn't a smash this year. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we're, Sony was like, we're changing the rules in Evo this year and to really to lean into the Vegas aspect, we're going to let y'all smoke it. <laughs> we're going to let y'all smoke and gamble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the FGC oh, would be the wrong, man. would be the wrong kind of smoke, Nikki. No, but DraftKings has to get it on Evo. Oh yeah, they should let you gamble on Tekken. Oh, <laughs> hey, dude. Grub. Yeah. Hey, Grub, you needed that. Oh, it's here. Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, we've been oh, here the whole time. I don't know. What, I don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> he always comes back. He always comes back. He comes back. I would put a clean hundo on Arslan winning the whole thing. That's my brain. That's literally that's literally all you need to start it. Yeah. The thought. That's all you need. That's all you need. It's it's if someone is like I would put and then like that's when DraftKings shows up. Oh yeah, it's funny you bring that up. A um, of all yeah. things, a Pokemon TCG podcast I listened to. They were talking about. We should just make a gambling app for competitive Pokemon TCG. I'm like, everyone's getting into it. <laughs> yeah. This We're all chasing that like dragon. Oh. Oh. Damn, Damn, I don't know. Bad. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> Gambling what? is only good when my friend Jeff Grubb wins $10,000. That's right. And then in, 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 in every other circumstance, I think it should be illegal. <laughs> Me too. Um. Speaking of gambling, though, um, what's the most any of you have won on a scratcher? Ooh, uh, I, want, uh, I think I won $100. <laughs> That's pretty good. I never uh, cashed it in. Because of the ADHD. That's pretty good. And then oh, I think it expired. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You asked me about this, unless it was a different one. You were like, "Do scratchers expire?" Yeah, it's from like so and so. Okay. I got you know it's it's karma because I bought it for AJ Minotti's birthday and I forgot to give give it to him, and so I just scratched it <laughs> off and I won and then I never cashed it. <laughs> okay. Um, two grand off bad. of the scratcher. That's huge. Oh. Five hundred bucks. That's I'm nice. Like, oh. Ten bucks. Yeah, I've I've won five dollars on a five dollar scratcher before because my grandpa got it for me for Christmas or something. That's See, not me. I could game the system because I used to work at a grocery store where I would cash those in, and so I'm like, "Are you describing a no crime?" Someone's <laughs> hit, so like maybe. We're not on TikTok. It's not okay yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you describe a crime on TikTok, that means it's legal, right? <laughs> and hey, and they do, especially tax crimes. It's really weird on there. Maybe it's just my algorithm. Yeah, right they now. love those. Yeah, that's huge for the IRS. Yeah, I like, can't believe. I can't fucking believe the government trying to turn off TikTok right. when the IRS is their whole thing now is all they have to do is type in taxes yeah. <laughs> into TikTok and then that's that's their auditing. Like this dude thinks he's got just because he has a big truck, he doesn't have to pay taxes on it? That's weird. <laughs> oh my god. Where, where, like the auto complete is taxes giat. <laughs> <laughs> Taxes Giat is an incredible name. <laughs> the most egregious one I saw is that there was this girl who was like, I figured out a way to create unlimited income. <laughs> and she like, oh, right. she has an LLC and she pays herself on QuickBooks to generate like to generate fake income. And then she takes it 
she takes that fake income to a creditor and is like or a bank and is like here's all the income i need yep. and then they're like oh word here's some money yeah. and then she's like sick now i have all this money and it's like you fool you absolute fool <laughs> you have to pay this money back first uh, of and all. it's like that's just involved. fraud that's just all just <laughs> yeah, fraud just yeah <laughs> Nikki, should I bring a film camera to Mania? Oh I just couldn't. Yeah, I could just not hit jump right. there. But then I have like have, 12 rolls I haven't developed. Well, it's 13. You're right. You know. Um, the move actually, Jan, and this has been helpful, is that if I go somewhere and shoot a roll, I try to get developed in the place, and then I oh. You just have to find a place because you'll be. I'm assuming y'all are gonna be close to the stadium, and there there will be a, a processor in there. So before you leave, drop off the roll and see if they can just give you scans. That is smart. Yeah, um, but that's what I would do. But yes, I, I'm assuming. I don't know what y'all's plan is, but I'm assuming you will have pretty good seats and have some pretty good access. So you should. I'm just gonna follow Dan's lead. So yeah, like I said, you'll have pretty good seats and pretty <laughs> good access. <laughs> no, I, I'm totally gonna. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't trust myself. <laughs> what? Uh, maybe I will just accidentally leave the rolls. <laughs> no, don't do that. You need those. I need the, the panic music just to, to feel calm. Watching watch you drop on Twitch is not enough. I just need the music play. I'm streaming the game to you guys. The game to you guys if you guys want to watch it. Oh, we got the good stream. Yeah. Well. This goes yeah, again. good in quotes. Yeah. I think sure. Dan and I are sitting in the press box, so uh, I'm just gonna just gonna sit next to Meltzer. Meltzer, hell yeah, you can do it. Wait, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> now it says that you're going to end up in Gorilla somehow. That would be so fucking <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh my god. You know, and traveling with Dan Riker. Yeah, you might. Possible. Oh, tough. Grub, you you've almost tasted victory on this level. You 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 can get there. Yeah yeah. I just I just need to uh, stop being such an idiot. Okay. Or just keep doing it. Like I'm. Do you feel doing. like a Galumba? I feel like a real Galumba over here. Hey, big Galumba. <laughs> Has no one tried making like Columbo but Galumbo? Okay. There's something there. Yeah. No. All right. April Fools for next year. Got this. My th favorite thing is just making a Photoshop and just putting it somewhere on the internet. Is this something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dan and I are somehow going to run in in the main event and help Cody win. Let me go on and buy animals. I haven't been on that website in a while. Oh, no. Time. Don't do that. Is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to someone yesterday and I was like, it is a testament to my own personal growth. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm the same person I've always been, but I really am not. And I'm like, I used to sit in front of advice animals when I was a child and just laugh until I cried. Oh, okay. that's millennial was, I, culture like, just taking over. Reading, everything I was reading was so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... I, I really did not understand the whole concept of advice animals for a very long time. It's just like, just okay. Just, these are just, just this is what a meme is. Just a picture with some text okay. on it. So I'm gonna read the top ten for you. Are you oh, already? Yeah, yes, please. Right. Hell yeah. Okay, so this one is, and this is the best way to consume a meme. It's via <laughs> audio. Yes. Um. Yes. It's, so it's the it's audio the, description the, turned on. Yeah. It's the Fry Futurama one where his eyes are squinting. Uh huh. And the title is Older Dad with Kids. And the top line is Not sure if my kids found all the Easter eggs or I just forgot where I hid some. 2,500. Okay. Wait, what? I, where's okay. the joke? 
All right. I'm, are you laughing? Oh, Do you boy. hear grub right now? Oh, that, that is the joke. <laughs> That's the that, joke. I am groaning at the lack of a joke, though, for sure. I am a, okay. Oh, boy. So here's the next one. Um, this one, the title is, I don't understand how how people are forgetting so many basic things from elementary school. And then the picture is, I think it's not, his name's not Jeff Goldblum. He's a Jeff. What the, what's this guy's name? Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Bridges. He's on, no, he's on, um, Goldberg's. Oh, Jeff oh, Green? Jeff. No. What? what? No. Jeff Green is totally on Goldberg's. Why are you acting like I'm insane for saying that? Wait, no, I'm okay, so maybe journalism, easy. Jeff Green? It's oh, no, there's, mul there's multiple Garland. Jeff Greens. Jeff Garland. Jeff Garland, Garland. that's right, Jeff Thank Garland. He, no, he's no, Jeff no, Green no, on... Wait, wait, John Goodman? <laughs> no, it's John Goodman. Thank you so <laughs> much, <laughs> Giamatti, for understanding what I mean. Those are simultaneously so two very different people <laughs> and the same person. So, yeah, I get you, I get you. I get you. <laughs> um... The top line says, am I the only one around here? And, oh, and they, sorry, it's it's John Goodman doing a gun. He has a gun in his oh, right, of course. It. You remember that one? Uh-huh. Um, the top line is, am I the only one around here? And the bottom line is, who remembers a lot is two separate words. <laughs> no, okay. Got him. Yep. <laughs> oh, there we go. Do, we, do you hear me? Yeah, yes. Dan Reichert. Okay. Hello, folks. How are you? We're doing Game Mess Mornings. Hello. Hi. Oh, it looks like you're playing Mario to me. Oh, yeah, you're in Is this your first time on Game Mess Mornings? Well, yeah, I, I have an insatiable desire for news. Yeah, so it's I a I thing. News. Yeah, I'm yeah. always talking about this. Well, he doesn't yeah. want to be on because he wants to consume it all. He wants to listen. doesn't want to miss a second. That's right. Oh, there's a good one. That seems fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got some news. Okay. This morning I woke up and I shaved 14 minutes off my quack shot speed run time. I'm wow. Nice. 14 I'm cool minutes? That's well, fucking I mean, huge. Well, it's only my second uh, thing. I did my first one uh, like a couple nights ago. Oh, they were all Dana gold split splits. Is a split, bud. That's yep. right. Oh, I have the live split layout. I'm doing the the keyboard shortcuts for my split times and all that. I'm I'm a I'm a quick, yeah. quack shot quick shotter. <laughs> oh, nice. Sports That's good. Hang on. Yeah, what, are doing, what are you doing for the split? Dan? No. Live split. I, I know. What What do you press on your keyboard? Oh, uh, numpad one on my keyboard that I spilled beer on. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, back when I was in here earlier talking about how you texted him immediately afterwards and was like, and all week, how do I fix this? And he told you to just buy another one. Yeah, I heard that as expense another one. <laughs> I wasn't there, but I also heard that day. Yeah, it makes sense. Said, that's, yeah. that's how he talks. Yeah, it is. That's his thing. You know, if at least uh, one button works on that thing, you could just turn it into one giant foot pedal. Just like, just kick your keyboard. Talk. And what happens if you have two keyboards plugged in at the same time, though? Does your computer just catch on fire? Yeah. You know, I yeah. think it, it likes yeah. that. It likes it. <laughs> no, you need yeah. you use multiple keyboards. Right? It you loves use multiple inputs. Keyboards. Oh. Computer loves inputs. Yeah. That's what it wants. It craves to keep. And just in whatever software you map <laughs> numpad one or whatever to uh to whatever you need. Just make it every key on the keyboard so I just mash it with yeah. one foot yeah. whenever I hit a split. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this one is that guy at a party and he realized he, where he makes a realization. Do you remember that one? I think so. Vividly. Um, so the top is, the top line is a bidet is the toilet and the bottom line is peeing on you. Oh my god. Okay. Um, maybe, okay, listen, I, on behalf of our generation, I think I, maybe millennials shouldn't be allowed to use the internet anymore. I'm sorry, everybody. As, as, a, different, as a different part of that bracket, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Dan, are you excited for WrestleMania? I am terrified, Dan. Why? Oh, I don't know. I feel like... the wrestlers uh, are big and scary, Dan. Jesus. No, they're nice. I, I I don't know what to bring is what. In oh, terms of what? Bring bring uh, uh cameras and microphones. Should we bring a tripod? Like if we're gonna be on Radio Row, uh, we, I think you. Look yeah, I mean, don't don't get big old man Prado, big heavy guy, but uh, you know some little little guy that you can uh, unfold and you know like the the invisible selfie stick stuff, the uh, you know Insta three sixty stuff, like that that stuff should do. Okay. Bring right. Jen, just bring the the little table one that you. That you used um, when we shot that. Uh, don't believe in myself. 
a Bioshock Six video. What's that game called? Uh, Judas. Judas. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I, I learned last night that a chef at a fancy French restaurant in Philadelphia is a fan, and he wants to cook for me and Jan. So Thursday oh, night, incredible! Oh, yeah. incredible! It's oh, gonna be awesome. Yeah, that's gonna rule. <laughs> yes, I uh, Dan is All Jeff right. Garland's character on Curb Jeff Green. I think you're thinking of. I think you're thinking of Jeff Green from video games. No, there's a, okay. So what's his what's his name on Curb? Jeff Curb. Garland is his shoot name. Yeah, what's Does his he, name on Curb? It's Jeff, but is it just Jeff Green? It's Jeff Green. That's what I was thinking Curb. of. Enthused. You know what's weird about I mean, I, 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 Listen, real quick, I, I can promise you I wasn't thinking of Jeff Green from video games. <laughs> <laughs> I can so promise you, you that. Up recently is why. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, it's Jeff Green with an E on the end. Yes, on okay. Curb. Okay, yes, there we go. I think it's weird on Curb, which is a show that constantly has Larry David's famous, famous friends on there playing kayfabe versions of their real selves, that sometimes they'll have a very famous person playing just a straight up kayfabe, like Vince yes. Vaughn playing a Funkhauser is weird because you just expect him to be Vince Vaughn since most famous people on that show are just they're themselves, you know? Yes. Right. It's, it's a little strange. I got used to yeah. it, though. A little weird, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen any of the new Curb. Should I? Is it good? Um, you know, I think most seasons of Curb since, like, season four have been, like, varying shades of not great. Uh, but this this one, this last season, has, has not been bad. It, it's been one of the better... I think there's always seasons. memorable stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been pretty solid. Did, like, the Irishama Sen gag from, like, a year or two ago. Or season or two ago. What was that? Of, like, going into the J the Japanese restaurant and you know how they greet you. Yeah, you're a, you're a Oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. Even talked about this. And then someone from 8-4 taught me how to say that, and I forgot. And then Larry <laughs> insisting, like, no, I should be able to say it. Oh, right, right. Um, so, Jan, we will do... Are we doing a, the whole gimmick? Are we doing SmackDown, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hall of Fame, uh, NXT? Like, are we just going all in? I think we are. No, that's AEW. Uh, oh, right. Okay, let's go double or nothing. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's let's just do the whole thing, right? That's uh, our, our whole thing. will be dictated by uh, the TKO Corporation. How's that sound? Yeah. I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. This level looks like a pain in the ass. <clears throat> this isn't even one of the hard ones. <sighs> this one's doable. <laughs> Says it right in the name. Yeah. Dan, do you think he could still devise like uh, another level like this? Not not to the extremes of the, your other levels, but one similar to this. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think it'd be fun. It takes a lot of time, so it'd have to be during like kind of a lull time. But uh, yeah, I can do it. And if anyone has questions you want us to ask wrestlers, we we may not take the questions you suggest. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of a stupid question to ask every wrestler, and then we do a super cut of that. And I'm trying to, I don't know what to do. Oh, chat says, I look forward to your Stardust follow-up interview with Cody. Yeah, I haven't done an on-cam with Cody. Well, I guess I did some stuff when I worked at WWE when he came back. so much. <laughs> I, I do want to get Cody to uh, do a bracket of Zelda, like a, a speed run I bracket. I hit that thing right away, I think. I think I know where it goes if I hit it right away. <sighs> I'm made up a whole bracket of Zelda stuff for when he was on a WRE podcast back in the day, but we didn't have time for it. So uh, I, I kind of want to spring it on him at this thing. You your, Did your time at WWE overlap with Cody Rhodes being at WWE? Briefly. That was my last Mania, so I saw him backstage after he did. No, I saw him on night two, because he debuted on night one, and I oh. talked to him briefly uh, backstage at night two, and then he was on the Corey Graves podcast that I produced, oh, okay. uh, and so I talked to him a little bit leading up to that, and I was texting him about the Zelda bracket, but we didn't have time on the air to uh, go over it, so... <coughs> I, I, I want to see his thoughts on Death Stranding, because he's a Metal Gear guy. I've never talked to him about Death Stranding. Um, 
I, he did the Big Boss cosplay for Ring of Honor that one time. I want to see if he thinks he could make a Zelda wrestling gear thing look cool, which I don't know how you would do that, and I'd be curious his thoughts. Sure. You could maybe do a Tears of the Kingdom one, or like Breath oh, of the that's Wild. True. Oh, that's true. I was thinking he would say uh, Fierce Deity somehow. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, like, Sexy Ganondorf from Tears of the Kingdom. Sure, sure. sure. Uh, oh, that's a heal. <laughs> hey, Dan, uh, do, uh, do you have, like, are you going to be here for, like, 10 more minutes or so? I can't be. Well, we got a um, meeting in 10, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, do you want to get that um, Super Nintendo versus N64 thing up? Because I haven't done that yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Oh, like the, the quiz thing. Yeah, the quiz thing. Doc, that was on Reddit. From I didn't Z. do, I didn't do oh, all of them because me. there were some where it's like, oh, pick five, and there were only like a few that I really was cared about, so... <sighs> Oh, you need to, you're just too small when you go in here. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. Cool. You're big. <laughs> Yells chat. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're not boy. supposed to be. Uh huh. <laughs> Grub, has it felt like almost an hour has, has elapsed? Oh, way longer. <laughs> Feels like in, an eternity in the Galoomba pit. I feel like there's a high likelihood of getting more wrestlers on the dump truck. Yeah. We could definitely do that. I yeah, I should reach out to more. I've got a couple that uh, expressed interest. Uh, so yeah, we could do that. We've got. Uh, I think I'm ready. We could announce that on the April 18th one. Uh, I've been talking to Chef Reactions. If anyone's uh, aware of who he is, he has Love his stuff. a million followers uh -huh. and uh, does some good stuff. And I wanted to get him on uh, and just do an all food related questions episode with me, Mike Minotti, and Chef Reactions. So, uh, yeah, plan, plan uh, out your voicemails oh for the 18th one. Honestly, it could be cool if we get, because uh, Snowbike Mike also has some food stuff. Would that be, uh, or would that be too many food people? Uh, overwhelming chef reactions. We need one straight guy. Okay, there you're uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, we should get Uno back on something. Oh yeah, for sure. Love Uno. Check out his mystery wrestling stuff. He does a great job with that. Very good. Yes. The most normal eater in the GB roster. The Backlar? Maybe. Backlar? The most normal? I think Backlar's like the most. Because he's like the fanciest boy, right? But that, that means. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. So, like, most vanilla means like. Because I, 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 Backlar can be picky about stuff that isn't good enough for him, right? So, that's. I think that still counts he's... on the other side of the um, spectrum. He's yeah. extremely the guy who will turn his nose up at things that are below him. Right, and I, I mean, I, and I'm like, I think that is, um, like, that's his prerogative, but I think that is still part of that picky eatingness a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's he's someone that, like, couldn't just take, like, a, a burger at a diner and, like, a, you know, a, a yeah, Budweiser hot and dog, be okay no with it. He would have to tell you, oh, piss water, I'm drinking piss water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did Jeff get on the call, what? Whoa. Yeah, sorry, yeah, he just came in, yeah. Uh, I want to say maybe Lucy's the most normal eater. Oh, yeah, that sounds nah, right. Nah, she's no? pretty see it. No. Well, I mean, having one rat night a week doesn't... <laughs> I had a rat-ass weekend. I had such a rat weekend that I registered for a half marathon. To <laughs> <make up> for... <laughs> I'm not wow. kidding. I am oh, so currently training for a... I am training for a half marathon because I had such a rat weekend. You know, after you mentioned it to Mike, uh, last... Was it UPF or something, Dan? I... My partner and I have, uh almost pulled the trigger on registering for a Disney marathon. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. I, hey, hey, if you want to aim for that, that would be an ultimate goal for me is to go to a full marathon. So I've done the half oh. once. Uh, ben Pack and I had the dumbest idea because he also wanted to do a feature of training for Shit. a marathon. Yeah. Uh, and calling it the endurance run. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, bro. He made it. Okay. Yep, I, I figured out my... Oh, all right, all right. I just got to hit it. Oh, I hate you! <laughs> oh, uh, nice try, buddy. Yep. All right, this is the run. 
scrub, you maybe got five minutes. Yep, I'm looking at it. Ah! And once this run gets verified, I will be the 39th fastest quack shot player in the world. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh. What are what are the Bad times look like, Dan? Uh, I'm currently at 43 with a 58 minute and 40 second run. I just oh. submitted a 44 minute run, which will bump me up like four spots. Uh, all of the top like 30 are roughly around the half hour mark. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys who's gonna do on the site with me and Jane out this week? That's a good question. Suffer. Yeah, suffer. Make people suffer. Cool. I don't know. We'll come up with something. Ah, probably... we got stuff. Yeah, we got stuff. Um, I want to play some. You know, I, maybe dive back into Elden Ring is kind of what I've been in the mood for a little bit recently. Ooh. We do some, maybe get started with uh, some multiplayer stuff like that. Maybe figure out figure oh. out what that looks like. So when you guys get back, we could just like all hop in. Sean, you mentioned maybe doing the Tekken thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll do the Tekken thing. Bothering Grub about Tekken, and he keeps ducking me. Yeah, listen. I'm busy that day. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Grub, do you want to do you want to fill out the Super Nintendo thing during yeah, the, yeah. Uh, Okay. Uh, you need to pick. Okay. Uh, for this part, I'm going to give you a Super Nintendo game and a, a 64 game, and you tell me which one you think is better. Yep. Or which one you like better, you know? Uh, Mario World or Mario 64? I do go Mario 64. Okay. Yeah, and do this honestly. You know, this, yep. is, this is the science here. Yep. All right. Um, Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time? Link to the Past. Okay, why are these clicks not working? Hang on. Let me refresh this. Oh, you need to make a copy. Oh, thing. right. The copy thing. Yes, I did that for mine. Okay, one second. Make a duplicate. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Make a copy. Uh, rub 64. Okay, I've lost make the touch. Copy. Maybe one more time for one more run. Okay. You said Mario 64, got that, and you said Link to the Past? Yes. Okay. Uh, Super Mario World 2, colon, Yoshi's Island, or The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask? Uh, Yoshi's Island. All right. Uh, Mario RPG or Paper Mario? Mario RPG. Okay. Star Fox or Star Fox 64? Star Fox 64. Okay. I don't know what Maniac would say the first one. That's much I like the first one, but yeah, I like uh, the first right. one, too. I'm sorry, hold on. I just I just gasped because I looked at Twitter and I see the 90s Disney podcast. They got a special guest this week. Do you know who the special Mickey? guest is? Dan Riker. Dr. Minotti. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I, what did we just see him in? We just saw him in something. It, it, what was it? I, did you have a dream about watching? Mike's dad? Oh, no, I think I was... What the fuck? Oh no, I was watching Slam Dunk Ernest on Twitch and Mike was in the chat and I asked if the bad sure. guy is what his dad looks like and Mike was like, ah, that's right. It was the bad okay. guy from Slam Dunk okay. Ernest is what I was thinking of. Uh -huh, yes, sure, right. right. Uh, Naturally. No, no Mad Libs could ever, ever. <laughs> I'm on an Ernest kick, folks. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Wait, do you, do you, are they still funny in any way to you? They're, 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 oh god damn it, I keep meaning, unironically, I almost described them as Ernest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're very well-meaning, Jim Burney is a genius, uh, it is, it is, they're very enjoyable, I think. Good. Uh, and I want to watch the, like, good ones, because, like, Slam Dunk Ernest was, like, a late, like, direct-to-DVD one. I want to see Ernest goes to camp and scared stupid and saves Christmas and goes to jail and all that again. Uh, watch but I've been watching his commercial compilations, which Jim Barney was a fucking worker, because he just did like hundreds of commercials, and one of them would be like, let me tell you why, you know, Sprite, man, let me tell you, Vern, Vern, uh, Sprite is the best, I love Sprite, and the next one will be like, fuck right. Sprite, I love Mellow Yellow. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> the ultimate worker, it's great, it's like, and then oh, the next yeah. one will be like, don't drink these sugary sodas, you want orange juice. <laughs> Alright, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Kong Quest, or Donkey Kong 64? Donkey Kong Country 2. Again, that, what that, is, that is the right answer. Yeah, yeah of course uh, it is. Kirby Superstar or Kirby 64? Um, Ker Kirby Superstar. Okay. Uh, Harvest Moon or Harvest Moon 64? And keep in mind, if you don't have a... If you haven't played either of them, you can be nothing. Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi or Star Wars Shadows of the Empire? Shadows of the Empire. Yeah. Pilot Wings or Pilot Wings 64? Pilot Wings 64. Okay. Tetris Attack or Pokemon Puzzle League? Pokemon Puzzle League. 
Hell yeah. All right. Um, all right. Interesting. Uh, now, this is rare versus square. You can pick four of these. I'm going to read these. You ready? Okay. Yep. We got Chrono Trigger, FF6, Secret of Mana, Front Mission, Blast Core, GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, and Jet Force Gemini. You have to pick four of them. Okay. Uh, uh, give me, uh, give me um, Perfect Dark. Uh, give me uh, uh, Blast Core. Oh, shit. Uh, and then Chrono Trigger. Well, what are the other rare games? Um, GoldenEye and Jet Force Gemini. Uh, I'll do GoldenEye and then I'll do Chrono Trigger. Okay. Uh, now racing, you need to pick four. Okay. We've got Super Mario Kart, F-Zero, Top Gear, Rock and Roll Racing, Star Wars Episode One Racer, Beetle Adventure Racing, F-Zero X, and Mario Kart 64. Uh, those last four. Yep. Okay. Okay, competitive, pick four. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Killer Instinct, Kirby's Dream Course, Mario Golf, Super Smash Brothers, WWF No Mercy, and Mario Party 2. Uh, WWF No Mercy, um, uh, what was the, um, uh, Kirby's Dream Course, for sure. Yep. Uh, what was the one before No Mercy? What the uh, Smash before? Brothers. Okay. Smash Brothers, Mario Golf, and Mario Party 2. Oh, Mario Golf as well. And then, um, what were the other Super Nintendo ones? Uh, Killer Instinct, MK2, and Street Fighter 2. And oh, Killer Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Yes. Street Fighter 2. Okay. Uh, okay, here's just a grab bag that you need to pick four from. Act Razor, Turtles in Time, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Sim City, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, Turok, and Ogre Battle 64. Uh, give me the those last three in 64, and then, um, what was the, uh... Uh, Act Razor, Turtles in Time, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Sim City, and Sim Goemon. City. Sim City. Okay. See y'all in the meeting, right? Yep, I'll be right there. Yeah, we'll be there, uh, soon. We'll just finish uh, this, okay. and then we'll be done, yeah. Pick three, Mario Paint, Earthbound, Super Metroid, Mario Tennis, Pokemon Stadium, and Pokemon Snap. Um, let's see, uh, so say the, uh, Super Nintendo ones again. Mario Paint, Earthbound, Super Metroid. Super Metroid for sure. Okay. Um, and I'll do Mario Paint, and then what were the N64 ones? Oh, uh, Pokemon Mario Snap. Tennis. Oh, okay, no, I'm sorry, no, Snap. Tennis, I'll do Tennis, yes. Okay. Almost done. Just three more of these. Oh, or actually, just two more. Uh, sports. NBA Jam, NHL 94, Super Punch Out, 1080 Snowboarding, Wave Race 64, and Tony Hawk 2. Uh, I pick three. Yeah. Uh, the last three. Okay. Uh, platformers. Mega Man X, Castlevania 4, Contra 3, Banjo Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, and Space Station Silicon Valley. Um,. Let's see. I'll, I'll I'll do Conkers and Banjo. Yeah. And then what were the Super Nintendo ones? Mega Man X, Super Castlevania Four, and Contra Three: The Alien Wars. Uh, I'll do um I'll do Contra, please. All right. Uh, we're done. And the final score, it is overwhelming. Jeff Grubb, the science says, winning for twenty three to ten. You think that the Nintendo 64 is better than the Super Nintendo by over twice as much. I, I, you know what? I think I'm getting a little sick of Mike being like so dismissive of the N64. Yeah. That's yeah. a good console, man. Yeah, it's one of the best consoles of all time. Man, it it's rules. better than the Super Nintendo. The Sign science up. checked out for me and you. You overwhelmingly, mine was actually close. I that's okay. I wasn't expecting I, you to be that. I would far. like to point out that I took this earlier, and the science does check out. Uh, they were neck and neck for me, and then you add in the RPGs, and suddenly Super <laughs> Nintendo takes it. Weird how that works, Dan. Man, episode yeah, but the RPGs are boring though. Uh, okay, let's get to this meeting. <laughs> All right, we're going to get to the meeting. Thanks for hanging out with us on April Fool's Day, everybody. We're going to go figure out what's going on this week. Me and Sean will figure something out while all these do fools are off something. watching wrestling. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, wrap it up by fading to black, and then I'll, I'll send you all somewhere. Catch you guys next time. Bye. See you in the meeting. Bye.